show you how you can use your smartphone as a cheap and easy way to capture audio for your video productions. Now there are really three ways that you can capture audio for your video productions. One of them is on your video camera that you're using, you can capture audio on your source device. Now this is the best because the audio is alongside the video, you don't really have to do much post-production work. The only problem is once you get more than say five to six feet away from the video, the audio quality starts with a grade. Well, your next option then is to get a wireless microphone. I could hook up a microphone to myself, and even if I go far away, I could use a transmitter and transmit the audio back to my camera. And that works well. The only downside, though, is you have to buy equipment. It's going to cost you extra money. The third option is you could just use your smartphone to capture audio. It's a great device. Here I have the factory microphone hooked up. Uh, I ran it under my shirt so you can't really see it, and this picks up great audio. The only thing you have to do is in post-production, you take the audio from your smartphone and you have to align it with your video. But the beautiful thing is, no matter how far away the video is, you can still hear me loud and clear. Here I am, I'm gonna keep going back, and I can just keep talking and you'll still be able to hear me regardless of how far back I go. Uh, you can hear me loud and clear even though I'm all the way back here. Now, there are two ways to align the video that you capture on your smartphone with your camera. In Hollywood, they do what's called a clapper. You've probably seen that at the beginning of a scene where they have this black device and they clap it shut. When I clap like that, in the, in the video, what you'll see is as soon as my hands come together in the audio track, you'll see a spike. All I need to do then is I take the audio from my phone and I line that spike with the moment my hands come together. There's a second way you could do it too. Right here, my camera's picking up audio. The audio is not quite as good as what I'm capturing on my phone, but what I could do is I could take my smartphone or my phone audio and I could align it with the audio that I get on my camera. Now, what I do is when I, when I put the audio tracks against one another, if I hear an echo, that means that the two tracks aren't perfectly aligned. What I do is I just tweak it, I can move it forward, I can move it back, and as soon as I don't hear any echo at all, at all, at all. that means that the two audio tracks are in sync, and at that point my video is also in sync with my smartphone audio, uh, and then that accomplishes it. I hope you enjoyed this episode today. If you enjoyed it, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another set of film. <laughs>